It's been 20 years since the first Hitman game came out. There have been good games and great games in the franchise. In this video, I'm going to compare Hitman 2 Silent Assassin, which might be tied for the best game in the series, along with Blood Money, with the best Hitman game in the rebooted series, Hitman 2. We know the new Hitman games are visually superior. I will not be taking graphics into account. I'm also going to take off my rose tinted glasses and not let nostalgia have any impact. In 2002, we got a good part of a city in St. Petersburg, which really proves the point that Hitman Silent Assassin was way ahead of its time. What I noticed when replaying the game was how creative they were with the environment. The environments felt very realistic even though the streets weren't packed with NPCs. The game was one of the first games to truly give you the finish your objective however you want feeling and this was because of the creative maps. Hitman 2 also follows the trend of exploring exotic locations to find the best way to finish your objective by blending in with NPCs. Hitman 2 offers even more freedom and ways to complete your objective than older games. But this is mainly because of the superior hardware. The environment is really well done. You constantly have to improvise so you have to pay attention to the environment and the people in it. The detailed game world forces you to replay multiple times to really take everything at the same pace as others to not arouse any suspicion. All these elements were fascinating back in the day. But gunplay is pretty average, it's clunky and lacks precision. Sneaking up to an enemy and choking them out with a fiber wire felt really satisfying. Agent 47's movement in general can at times feel very awkward. Hitman 2 had great animations. It's super fluid, everything flows really well. Gunplay is still not the greatest but you still have fun approaching missions guns blazing. Moving around is smooth and Agent 47 is responsive. He really feels very capable. Sneaking around and killing your enemies in creative ways is one of the most satisfying things you can do in gaming. Story Hitman games aren't really concerned with delivering great stories. The games are all about creative gameplay. Here our favorite assassin has decided to retire and has decided to spend his days working as a gardener in a church in Sicily. But when his friend gets kidnapped, he goes back to being who he was in exchange of information about his friend. The plot is interesting at times and I like the ending, but the story isn't the focus here. Hitman 2 follows the trend of not being concerned with the story and takes it even further. You are chasing a mysterious shadow client and that's basically it. You go down to different locations to eliminate or get information about the shadow client. Gameplay wise Hitman 2 is better, but if you want a little bit more of a story with incredibly fun and creative gameplay, Silent Assassin is the one for you. Well that's it for today, like and subscribe to the channel and give me your pick in the comment section. Thank you and have a good day.